Hey guys, so I am here in Orlando getting ready for MegaCon, relaxing in the pool. God knows I need it. Um, so I thought it'd be the perfect time since I don't have one of these on this channel to do a kind of con tag slash con guidelines kind of thing. So the first question is, what should I call you? Um, so you can call me my name if you know it. Um, you can call me by the character that I'm actually cosplaying that day, or you can call, call me by my Instagram. I don't have a problem with either of the, any of those options. Um, <clears throat> the next question is, what are my pronouns? So I go by she, her, and yeah, I think that's a really, um, awesome question to include in this kind of thing because you don't want to accidentally offend somebody and and you just want to be uh, respectful of how everybody presents and you know just be a, a decent human being next question is what is my favorite cosplay so one of my favorite cosplays that I do is Cookie Carol 1.0 um, it was the first cosplay that I ever did and I just I love how happy it makes people. <laughs> I give out cookies and everybody's just like really, just like, it's really iconic. Um, it's a really iconic cosplay in the Walking Dead community. Um, and even being, you know, a cosplayer of color wearing that, wearing that cosplay, I was recognized as Carol and it just makes people happy for some reason. It could be the cookies that I give out, but We'll just say it's the, it's the cosplay in general. What is my least favorite cosplay? Um, while I love the character Furiosa, um, the cosplay just takes a lot of, a lot. You know, you have multiple belts going this way and that way, chains, and it's just paint. It's a lot, and it's hot. So I think that would be probably my least favorite cosplay to wear, but I love that character. What is my most expensive cosplay? Um, my most expensive cosplay would probably be Ezekiel. Um, because just because I went through so many versions of his jacket, his long black jacket, then his armor cost a lot. Um, I had to make the wig myself because I couldn't find any that I was happy with. So that cost a lot of money, a lot of time to make it. Um, and I did, I did it multiple times as well. So yeah, his cosplay, I thought it would, I, I never anticipated that that cosplay would cause me so much trouble and so much money. If I would have known that then, I probably wouldn't have done it. Um... What is my favorite cosplay memory? Um, probably my very first Walker Soccer Con uh, is my favorite. Uh, I met so many amazing cosplayers who have become my friends. Uh, I entered the cosplay contest and I placed in it. Um, one of my cosplay friends, she gifted me uh, a Sneakwa photo op and like I had this is my first time ever meeting this girl as well and she gifted me an op that she had an extra one of and I got to show Sonequa my Sasha cosplay and Sonequa recognized it immediately and was so happy with it and she actually you know took my picture and I ended up on her Instagram so all that happened in one con like just one of those things would have been amazing and would have made my con but um yeah it was amazing. So that's my favorite cosplay memory. My, what is your least favorite cosplay memory? Um, that would probably be the last Walker Stalker that I went to. Walker Stalker, New Jersey, 2017. Um, it was going well until I sat in fake blood and it ended up all on my tan pit, excuse me, on my tan pants. It just made me really self-conscious because it was like on the butt. I knew what it was, my friends knew what it was, but you know, random people would not have, and it looked really realistic and really bad, and um, I didn't have anything to cover it with, and I was also pulling an overnight shift right after the con, so 
And and spoiler alert, that was the episode that Carl died. That we found out. Died. That we found out. Died. <laughs> that was the episode we found out that Carl died or got bit. So, yeah, just that whole experience was not fun. Not fun at all. Sorry, I have water on my face now. I just gotta deal with it because I don't have a towel in reach. Um, what is the farthest that you have traveled for a con? So, I didn't go to London specifically for Walker Stalker Con. It just happened so that it was the same weekend, uh, the same week that I was celebrating my birthday. So that's definitely the farthest that I've traveled for a con. And I really would love to go back and love to hang out and uh, see all of my London friends that I got to meet in person. The next question is, can I hug you? That depends. <laughs> um, if your intent is pure and genuine, then yes, sure. I would love to hug you. Let's, let's hug it out. If your intent is to be creepy and feel up on me for some reason, hell no. Um, can I call you over slash come up and talk to you? Yes, absolutely, of course. That's the whole point of coming to a convention is to, well, for me at least, is to connect with fans who also love the same things that I love. So um, absolutely come up and talk to me. You call me over. Let's hang out and become friends. Can I take a ship picture with you? <laughs> that depends as well. Um, if it is a ship that I ship, Absolutely. Yes, let's do it. If it's a ship that I am, uh, you know, impartial to, sure, still, we can do that. If it's my no TP, then we might have a problem. We might have a problem with that. How can I connect with you? Well, so you can connect with me on here and my sister Instagram page. Um, and honestly, that's this is the whole reason why I started this YouTube uh, channel. I didn't want to become a YouTuber. You know, I post, I film on my phone with crappy lighting. Um, so I wasn't trying to, you know, become a professional YouTuber or anything. But I was just trying to connect with people um, more than what my Instagram platform was allowing me to. You know, I, you can post like one minute videos to your page directly or like 15 second increments and stories. And I just wanted to have a longer kind of platform to talk to you guys. Um, I don't have a, I don't have a, a Insta, uh, sorry. I don't have a Facebook page for this cosplay. And I do have a Tumblr, but it's just mostly just random stuff. I honestly forget to post cosplay stuff there sometimes so yeah these are the best these are the best two ways to do it can next question can you take a photo of me yes of course yes of course you can uh, let's take a photo of me let's take a photo together let me take a photo of you you know especially if you're cosplaying if you're not if we're not in cosplay that's a different story but yeah of course you can Next question, where can I usually find you at a con? You can usually find me at a panel. Um, I love listening to actors talk and, you know, explain their process, explain their characters, you know, delve deeper into storylines, stuff like that. I love, love hearing the, the backside. Love hearing the, the backside. The backside the inside scoop of things and behind the scenes sorts of stuff. So that's definitely where you can find me at a, at a con. Next question. After party slash rave question mark. <laughs> um, no, I usually don't do after parties slash rave slash parties in general like in regular life like i'm not i've never been like into parties and stuff 
Um, with the exception of if there is going to be something offered, like uh, for Walker Stalker Con uh, Atlanta 2017, they were offering or they were raffling a ticket to, um, sorry, I'm looking at this freaking fake owl. I don't know. You thought it was real. Yeah, it kind of freaked me out. But yeah, um, they were raffling an Andy, an Andy photo op slash Andy autograph. So I was like, hell yeah, I'm going to that party. I didn't end up winning and I regret it going. And I left immediately after they, after they called the name. But um, yeah, so no, I usually don't do, do the after parties and stuff like that. Photo ops or selfies? Uh, I prefer a selfie just because I had uh, some bad experiences with uh, celeb photo. I'm like drifting, drifting out of, out of frame. Um, yeah, I had some bad experiences with photo op company uh, for Walker Stalker Con. Like they just took really, they just took bad pictures. I, I didn't like how any, hardly any of mine came out. So I would definitely prefer to do a selfie, especially, you know, if I'm taking it or if a volunteer or a friend of mine can take a, a picture. I'm hearing like sounds of somebody coming into the pool. <laughs> so that is it for now. If I, you know, see any more questions that um, I haven't answered or any more, um, any more info, cosplay related that I haven't put in this video then I probably will do a part two so yeah I'm about to get out of this pool because it is getting cold but uh yeah so I'll see you guys later and remember JSS